Okay, so we're just having a look at a very simple little game that we've got here. The idea is to steer a cat okay, uh, through the whatever um, objects are on the screen to try and get them to meet their friend Penguin. Okay, this is the type of project that you could do with year twos, um, sort of our um, six to seven year olds. Um, you might want to first of all set this up on a screen and just challenge children to work their way through by putting lots of instructions, building up a set of instructions um, on the green flag here to actually see if it works. So here we go. Here's the, I'm just going to press the green flag to start this. Here we go. You see it's shrinking down the cat and it's making the objects a bit bigger. Uh, nothing's happening to start with, so we've got to puzzle through what would work. Now I've got a ready-made one here. Let's try it again. Oh, oh, oh. did you see it actually hit the... Um, Hit the um, uh, toad stool there, so I might need to go and adjust that and make it five. Let's try that again. Oh, yeah, that's a little bit better. We didn't actually hit the person. Okay, and then let's try some downward ones. Here we go. So it's going to go the same again. Back to the start. Oh, 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 it goes down a little bit too far. So let's reduce that. Okay, we're working. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> okay, uh, let's reduce that to two. Uh, oh, oh, that's a bit better. Let's get him going over maybe just one. Okay, I don't know. Let's try one, see if that makes any difference. Uh, let's run it again. Down and across a bit. No, I think probably down again, actually. Let's get rid of those. It's all very well having a ready prepared one, but sometimes things change. I'm going to try for three down, see what happens there. So across, down. Oh, oh, oh maybe he's gone down a little bit too far. Oh. Let's try that again. There we go. All right. What's nice with this is we've actually set it up so if you make a mistake, if you put too much on here, say I put 10 on here, okay, it will actually go back to the beginning. So let's try this again. All right, so you see it's doing my first instructions, but the last one's too much. And so because of that, it hits the toadstool and the toadstool goes back to the beginning. Let's just have a brief look at the instructions in here and then we'll, we'll, um, you can get on and have a look at some of the planning. So what we've got in the cat is we've got, first of all, a little block here that just sends it back to the beginning. That's that um, cross with a little arrow. So it always goes back to the starting position. Uh, the little pink block here um, just reduces how big the size of the object. This one here is the collision block. So when it hits something else, it goes back to the start. That's that one which makes us go back to the start every time. And then, of course, we've got our built-up instructions that we'd pretty much leave blank for people to try and work their way out. Let's have a look at the mushrooms. The mushrooms really um, could be anything, which is nice. The children can customise it when they make their own, make it do whatever they want it to do. And, of course, um, they're growing a certain size. Let's go down and have a look and see... Um, what else we got on here and then finally we've got the penguin and basically when the cat eventually touches the penguin the penguin will say something in this case hooray <laughs> okay so that's our basic game um, and have a look at the planning to see how we can encourage children to build this up make their own version of it think through some of the ideas use them in other things as well okay thanks for listening